and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. The lineups we've just been given. Fernandinho, who's going to make this theirs? He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Can he find a finish now? Turns and goes back. That comes as a mighty relief. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence on settle and now they've got to back it up. De Bruyne, Fernandinho, tries a through ball, now it's Aguero, great reaction, oh the keeper's done ever so well, oh, he made that look really easy Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save, he had to be very switched on there. Deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Manchester draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Dinks one in. Nicely worked. He's tried one. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. Defending to ensure they got no further. Sterling looks to dink one in. And he's there to cut it out. Manchester going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. The shot. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. A 
aimed long and direct. Sterling passes it through. Real chance! Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. De Bruyne! He's done well to tidy up the situation. Looks like a good ball through. He's got the ball, he's got the space! It's one! Ball's loose, who's getting there? It's wide, but only just. And that was more than a decent attempt, perhaps it deserved better too. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Company. Kolarov. Silva. Aguero. Sinclair. Forward it goes. The final whistle. Manchester, hold on. It's a narrow squeak. Bit of luck, some judgment. 1 0 the score at the final whistle. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. The lineups for the game. the pass can he put it away oh, terrific run to latch onto it but the finish is all wrong oh he can't be happy missing that after been put clean through that's about as good a chance as you can get We've played it short oliver torres Shoots! What a wonderful goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. I just think he showed a lovely appreciation of where that defensive line formed and he held his run until just the right moment and he broke the offside trap and uh, he took full advantage, that's top marks for me.
Oliver Torres gets it, and now what? Morgan gets it away. Oliver Torres. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Oliver Torres. Could try cutting inside here. Lovely feet. And that's been repelled. Tries a through ball. Now it's all Brighton. He's away! Alex Tellez boots it to safety. Looks like a good ball through. Oliver Torres. Leicester are trailing here with the first half almost done. Say that was an exemplary tackle, stopped him dead in his tracks. Looks to slip it through. Really well taken goal. Leicester get the ball rolling in the second half. Mares. Simpson. Mares. King. Drink water. Hoot. Fuchs. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say superb from Okazaki, and the game is well and truly turned on its head. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Oliver Torres set up one goal so far. Simpson passes it through. Mares. They've managed to get it away. And that's that. Well, that's bounce back ability. Responding superbly to come from behind. Shrugging off setbacks along the way. And determinedly getting there in the end. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? They've achieved this away win thanks to a game plan which they stuck to and trusted from start to finish. The players deserve praise, and, and so does the manager, who got it spot on. A very warm welcome to all of you from the venue for the Europa League final, St. Jakob Park in Basel, Switzerland. And here we have Basel against Arsenal. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem.
again the lineups for this game. Monreal, Granit Xhaka, Walcott, he's delivered all right, and Arsenal take the lead. Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside, and he's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Granit Xhaka kings it out wide. Now it's Xhaka. Granit Xhaka has alert to the possibilities, but in the end, it's fruitless. Still a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Looks like a good ball through. Gets into some space for Shelney. Charges in. And we're underway again. Arsenal carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Mesut Ozil. It's Ozil! Mighty close. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Arsenal just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. That intervention was very necessary. And it's Walcott. Giroud. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Cazola. Monreal. It's a long forward pass. So that's it, it is all over. Arsenal, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, once they got that goal, I just thought they were very dogged in seeing the game through. And that clean sheet, you know, key to the win. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Tottenham against CSKA Moscow. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. the lineups for this game
towards Son Jung Min. Has a look and has a go. Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before it had been closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy. Has a hit! This could fall anywhere! And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Jagoev. Eremenko. Looks to dig one in. Pressure stays on, it is a corner. Sees it out of harm's way. on the right flank. Now, what's next? Berezutski gets in to thwart him. And we're underway again. Tottenham playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Kane takes control of it and he's on the move. Eriksson... Tries a through ball. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Plays a clever pass. Berezutski. He's come loose. Now it's Kane. Now surely. Can he find a finish now? Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Dyer. Ever there was a perfect time to score. I think we just witnessed it. Oh, you've got to say the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to to finish things off. But the failure to spot him was was ghastly defence. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. No, no way through there. Tottenham need to hold on for a few more moments. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Tottenham hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.